Hi, I'm CB, and this time I'm going to talk about uh, getting a look that looks like you've hand tinted a black and white photograph. I've talked about spot color before, which is where you take a photograph, turn it black and white, and then have a color layer below it that you let the color show through in a certain area. But in this case, we're going to actually paint some color on to the black and white photo and make it look more like it was back when before they had color photography and they used to do black and white photos and they used to hand tint them, you know, put a little paint on it or color it so it looked it got it has a certain distinctive style. So that's what we're going for here. So I have a color photograph here and the first thing I had to do was make a black and white copy and in this case I just did it by having um black and white as my foreground background color. Actually it was more like a real dark brown and I on this I went and chose in the adjustment layers I chose the gradient map option when I do that you see it automatically turns it into a black and white thing and you get the dialog box that it popped up and I just clicked OK so I'd already done that so let's that's what this is it's a different like I say a little bit different color but same concept so after that now I'm going to need to paint my color on so I create a new layer I'm going to get a color here fact I don't know that I can yeah, I probably can't pick that so I've just got a sort of a deep red here and I take my paintbrush with a little bit of a, a blurred edge soft edge brush from the default menu and I just started painting over the apple now it helps in this case once you get to edges and especially like in the stem here you might want to lower the opacity of your layer some so that you can see what you're painting here and this has a nice look to it already you could after you finish painting this apple you could stop here and say yeah I like this this looks good to me but after I painted the entire apple as you can see I've got one done here I'll turn that back off and put this on this is pretty much what you'll get now if I lowered the opacity of the layer down to like about in the 50s that's like I say not too bad but I think it's still a little bit harsh to get that real hand tinted look so the last step would be to go into your blend modes and choose color for the blend mode which is the second to last one and it's being cut off my screen right now but go all the way down to the bottom and it's the second to last one and choose color and now it's brought the shading of the apple back in a bit some more of the richness and I think that looks a lot nicer than just the normal mode I mean they both look good but this has more of a a tinted look to me and if you think that's down a little bit too low you can bring it up and it starts to get kind of bright and vivid which is another really cool look you might want for your layout but of course it doesn't have that sort of hand tinted old tone to it it looks more like neon just from the color I've chosen but just you know play with the opacity a bit change that blend mode if you like and you get something I think that looks really nice and can have a nice effect in the layout if you take your photo and just sort of do this to an outfit perhaps your child is wearing or some other thing that you want to highlight. It's really cool. I'm CB. I hope this has been helpful to you and thanks for watching.